study of the conditions for convergence of an infinite series and was concerned with developing the basic theorems of the calculus as rigorously as possible. Any questions? No? All right, moving on. Isn't it true uh, Cauchy stole from his students? Yes, I heard that. What's your theory on that? They say he used his students for their brilliance, then uh, discredited them and stole their equations, stole their hard work. Well, it wouldn't be the first time a teacher was accused of that. I think uh, what he's referring to is uh, Vladimir Stubnitsky, yes? The student of Cauchy's who accused Cauchy of stealing his four-volume text on this analysis and publishing it under a pseudonym. Of course, nobody knows what really went down there. They never did prove it, and without the proof, it's a little like it never happened. And you know, it's a real shame, because if Stubnitsky had just realized that he shouldn't have crossed Cauchy, this was the dispute. If he'd been able to get beyond some of the personal mistakes that were made, I have no doubt that Cauchy would have worked with him again, and they could have done great things together. But, as history shows us, some students never learn. You should get that eye looked at.